Alright, what's up? So today I'm gonna be showing you how to do that effect you saw in the intro. So I already have my song and my click synced up with velocity. So what you're gonna want to do to start is you're gonna wanna um, cut on the kill, so B drop, and you're gonna wanna go about like as soon as the guy's shotgun pulls out. So I'd go right here. You wanna cut and then at the end you want to find where you're going to cut so i like to cut on the little hi-hat at the end so. so right there so that's all we need here you're going to run the part you cut you're going to go in fusion get in dragon transform node here you're going to want to keyframe on the first frame your size and your aspect actually not your aspect sorry your angle and you want to go on the last frame size angle and then you want to go like when the shotgun's like almost pointing straight up and you want to keyframe all the stuff again uh on this frame you're going to want to make your setting uh 1.2 for size and here you're going to want to make it around 5.2 so slightly tilted and then it'll go back to regular so it pumps in and then goes out you want to save go into spline a lot of people don't like this they don't know how it works basically you just make it a non-linear graph so zoom out find it go in here what you're gonna want to do highlight the whole thing tap s on your keyboard drag this middle one up so this little line goes up here and then this one you're only gonna go almost straight up so you can see it's like a roller coaster and it's not just a straight line and then you're gonna uncheck size you're gonna get angle you're gonna make it so you can see it like this you go over the whole thing s like this again right and then you're gonna want to make this curve you're gonna want to save and you want to go into settings hit check motion blur make the quality 10 and the shuttle ang shutter angle 360 and then you're gonna go back here what you're gonna want to do is there's an overlay up in the description you drag this in and it's basically like a warp that goes out and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right when it's like around the spot cut you're gonna want to clip on it uh, you're gonna want to make the rotation angle around 90 degrees it can be negative 90 or positive 90 it doesn't really matter whatever you prefer I kind of like it like this and so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to alt drag it over you're gonna want to sync it up you're gonna want to hit change clip speed click on this right here and then you just put a negative sign in front of it so now it's a reverse, so if you play through it, it goes like that. And then you're going to want to make this faster. So drag this, hit change speed, 150. So it's 100 and then it comes in quicker. And then, actually, I'm going to manually drag it in. I'm going to make it like 180 or something. And then this one I'm going to make a little quicker as well. It all depends on the song you're using because you want to kind of sync it up to the kill at the end. Um, and then here you want to click on both of these make them both add so there's no black um, and then it'll go out back in and what you want to do now is you want to start tracking it to your character so here keyframe position and you want to make it down on like the center the back of your character so go frame by frame kind of tweak this and uh, I'll see you when I'm done now when you're done basking into your character it should look something like this and then what you're gonna want to do is you need um, what's it called magic bolt looks for this effect um, and what you're gonna need you're gonna drag an adjustment clip in you're gonna start it at the beginning of your little 
warp thing. I'm gonna end it on the kill. I'm gonna fade it in for like 20 frames, I'd say. And I'm gonna wanna search up looks. I'm gonna wanna go into looks, and then I'm gonna wanna go click on this, hit effects, edit look. And that's gonna bring you into this here. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna use this uh, preset. So I'll show you the settings for it. Go over it quite quickly. And you just copy it as close as you can. So once you've done that, it'll fade in and sometimes the plugin bugs out so you can go back in, try to check it, drag it back and forth and it should start to work. And then you're going to want to highlight both of these, actually you don't need to highlight it but you're going to want to search up Hue and this is uh, Sapphire plugins. So you said right, you're gonna want to put on both of these clips and then you're gonna want to go here. And so since you have like a purple uh, color correction, you want to change the scale to this color right next to the blue. I think it looks kind of nice with the, with the purple in the back. But obviously this is personal preference changes to whatever you want. And then here, you can kind of fade in this like I'd say like 10 to 12 frames I'm gonna do 12 fades in and then after this just put your own shake preset nothing special and hopefully that helped I am